NASA astronaut Laurel O'Hara is heading up to the International Space Station for the first time. She's the lone American among the three Soyuz MS-24 crewmates. O'Hare was like a lot of us as kids. She wanted to be an astronaut when she grew up. I'd been dreaming about being an astronaut since I was a little kid. And so as soon as I thought that I maybe had enough experience to apply, like if you had added together all of my work experience and my internships, then you met the minimum qualifications, which definitely is not how it works. They don't add up all your summer internships to count it all. But um, I thought, you know, maybe it was worth a shot. Her first shot at experiencing microgravity came when she was an undergrad at the University of Kansas. She got to participate in NASA's KSC-135 Reduced Gravity Student Flight Opportunities Program. Like a number of future astronauts, she rode aboard what has lovingly been referred to as the Vomit Comet. O'Hare took her first real shot at becoming an astronaut while in grad school at Purdue University. She was hoping to become a part of the astronaut class of 2009. And I didn't hear anything back. <laughs> but that didn't work out. It took her two more tries before she was named to the astronaut class of 2017. A big deal for a kid who grew up in Houston. Kind of being hit with a lot of emotions all at the same time. Um, those first couple months are kind of a blur in my head of just... Um, uh, yeah, spending time with my friends and family who are here and getting to know my classmates and, and going through all the briefings and kind of trying to absorb the fact that uh, this job is my new reality. She'll soon join her classmates Jasmine McBelly and Frank Rubio, who are currently working aboard the ISS. One of the best ways she prepared to live and work in space actually came from her previous job. O'Hara worked at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute for eight years as an engineer and had the opportunity to work with underwater vehicles. When we're doing an expedition at sea, um, it's kind of similar to being on space station. Um, we're a long way from home, um, usually work, often working out of a foreign country with a pretty small team and pretty limited resources. So uh, learning how to work together when we're all a little bit stressed, um, you know, trying to accomplish a goal um, with the resources that we have on hand, um, I think that's pretty analogous to Space Station. O'Hare may also have the chance to make some history while on station. She and McBelly have the potential to be just the second pair of astronauts to complete an all-female spacewalk. They would follow in the footsteps of NASA astronauts Christina Cook and Jessica Meir, who completed the first three such EVAs between late 2019 and early 2020. O'Hara took the social media name Lunar Laurel years before becoming an astronaut, but as fate would have it, that choice could prove to be more serendipitous than she even imagined. I'm definitely hoping to be a part of Artemis in some form or fashion, whether it's um, actually being a crew on the mission or supporting some of the technology development or supporting missions from Houston. It all begins with her first mission with a planned launch date of September 15th. Reporting for Spaceflight Now, I'm Will Robinson-Smith.